In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do advanced AdWords conversion tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more coming up right after this. All right, welcome back to this video. If you haven't seen the first part of our AdWords conversion tracking with Google Tag Manager, then head over here and uh, watch this video first because that will make more sense. Now in this video, we're actually gonna send the conversion value over to AdWords. It takes a bit more effort in order to make this work and make it work dynamically with Google Tag Manager. But then you have a rock solid setup that really gives you the most power with your AdWords conversion tracking within the AdWords interface itself. And that way you can make decisions about um, how your ad spend actually relates to the actual money that you have made with this click with this advertising as a whole. Now we got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Welcome back. In this video, we wanna enhance our conversion tracking for AdWords so we can actually transfer more information such as the order number and the total amount to AdWords as well. Now we have already seen that there are spaces within Google Tag Manager, if you go back to our tag here, that can take up this information. So we have here the order ID and the conversion value and even the currency code. So how can we actually fill them? Now there is no easy way to actually do this. You will need to most likely get your developer involved in order to transfer this information into something called the data layer. So we can have this available to pick up via Google Tag Manager. Now in order to install such a data layer, I've made up a little document that you can give over to your developer, which explains what information should be put into which page and what you would like to see in the end. So this is the actual code, a JavaScript data layer that will transfer information about the purchase into this Google Tag Manager construct, which will then make it available to us to actually transfer over to AdWords or to any other tool that we might want to connect to Google Tag Manager. Now it's important that the values are dynamic, so be sure to tell him that you want to swap out these red values here with actual values that you see transferred on the page itself. Now, once you have that installed, you can go ahead and actually do a test conversion. Let's do a test conversion as well. We first need to actually go into our preview and debug mode again, reload our page. So we see that this is the case and let's go through a test conversion. And once we enter our conversion page on our order received page, we now see a GTM for WP order complete. So when we click on that, we don't see any more information here, but what we can do is inspect the data layer. Now this data layer should model whatever you have specified in this document. So this should transfer all the information that you might want to have available to send on to AdWords. In our case, we have a total order of 28, so we can look for the 28 right here, we see revenue 28. Now, in order to pull this out from the data layer, we will need to use a variable. Now, variables are kind of like placeholders that you can input in your tags, triggers or variables. We just need to build a correct data layer variable in order to pull this out. How do you do this? Well, let's go over to Google Tag Manager and go into variables and configure a new user-defined variable. Now this user-defined variable is a data layer variable. That's why I call this DLV. Then I will call this just total because it will get our total amount. And we'll go to the configurations and choose here a data layer variable. Now we need to input the right keys into this data layer variable. And this is done with the dot notation. So if you go back to our page, we need to actually see what object this is actually in. So we have here the e-commerce object, then we have the purchase object, then we have the action field, and then our revenue. So this is what we will input with the dot notation into our variable. Once this is complete, we can save this, refresh our preview and debug mode, refresh our page, Unfortunately, we don't see our event here anymore. 
because this is actually a double tracking prevention. So it doesn't track it double once you reload the page. So we will go through another test conversion. And we get to our checkout page. And once we click on this event again, we can go to our variables. And now we should see our variable DLV total, and it has transferred out our correct amount. Now we can use this data layer variable to actually fill our tag. So let's go over. And here we have our conversion value. So we can choose by just clicking on this brick, our variable. And again, this is like a placeholder. So it will just swap this out with whatever is filled in to this field right here. We can optionally input a currency code if we have something like euros or something else than USD. Since this won't change dynamically, we can just put this in as USD. Let's save this. Now you also see we have here an order ID and this will actually help that we are not counting something duplicate. So let's go ahead and also fill this with a variable. Now let's see what variable we actually need in our data layer. We have here e-commerce, purchase, and an action field and ID. So almost the same. I'm just gonna go to this variable field and from here I can also build a new data layer variable for our ID. This will be a data layer variable, e-commerce, purchase. Just like we did before. Now we won't test this before, but go ahead and just save this. Now before we proceed here, we actually need to also adjust our AdWords conversion tracking. So it actually is ready for this data that we are sending it. Let's go ahead and edit this. And this time we want to send over a value. So we have a different value for each conversion and the default can be zero. That's fine. Let's save this. No, it can't be zero. So let's put a $1 here. Let's save this and done. So now the AdWords conversion tracking is correctly configured for the purchase. And we can go ahead and now before we proceed, we want to actually also change our trigger. Now this trigger is actually firing on the page view. This has the big disadvantage that if somebody reloads this page, he actually gets tracked again and again. So now since we have implemented this custom data layer, we actually have a unique event that only fires on the actual conversion one time. So we can make use of that and simply need to build a trigger to accommodate this custom event. Now, if you go into the variables here, we see that the custom event is GTM for WP order completed EEC. And this is all we need in order to build a trigger of that. So in Google Tag Manager itself, we can go into our trigger and actually delete our existing trigger and build a new one. Click on the plus sign here. This will be a custom event on a purchase. And we can choose the custom event, then enter our event name. We want to fire this on this event. Now, since this is very unique, we don't have to input any kind of more rules in here in order to turn this true. We can simply save this and it will be attached as a trigger to our tag. Let's save this. Refresh our preview and debug mode. Go back to our page and go through another test conversion. And now we enter the page with the event GTM for WP order completed. On that event, our AdWords conversion tracking is firing. When we click on this tag, we can actually see the configurations. So the conversion value was 45 here, which models what we have in the total value here as well. We also have our order ID, which is 474. And this gets sent over to AdWords. We can check this out in our tag assistant. Here we see the values again, and hopefully after a while, we would also see this in our conversion tracking as well as verified and can then see here the conversion amount that was correctly filled.
So a little bit more complicated to set this whole thing up, but it will give you better data because it sends over the actual conversion amount and the value to AdWords. So you can evaluate which ad or which campaign actually brought you the most money in terms of value that it generated on your website. Don't forget in the end to go ahead and publish this. So you need to go and submit this as a version. And then it will be live to all your users. Now, if you want to download the template that we had here, then head over to measureschool.com slash AdWords tracking. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can set up advanced conversion tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now, if you want to download that document that I um, have mentioned in the video, then go down to the description. We have it linked up below or head over to measureschool.com slash AdWords tracking. Now, I know this data layer integration is a bit more advanced, but it will really give you a rock solid um, implementation that you can use later again if you wanted to fire a Facebook pixel, for example, or uh, any other tool like a Bing conversion tag as well. So I'd encourage you to go through the steps of actually installing it. Now, if this was helpful to you, then uh, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel right over there because we will bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.